And it's okay, it's just a dead bug. It's not gonna hurt anybody. Hey moms and dads, hey mini movers. This is Sam and Zelda, and we're here at the studio because um, my house is a wreck and shouldn't be on camera. So I, I feel like some of y'all probably feel me on that one. We're gonna bring you a little bit longer of a video than the breath one we did. We're gonna do, what kind of poses are we doing? Ew. Animal poses. So let's find our inner animal. All right, we're gonna come to our hands and knees. Tabletop position. Okay. And a quick note, moms and dads, you can do this with your younger kids like Z here, three to uh, five or even younger. Or if you have bigger kids who want to do this by themselves, go have a cup of coffee or sit down or whatever it might be. So this can be done together as a family. Or if kids want to just do it by yourselves, kids, welcome. All right, Z, we're going to come to tabletop position. Let's get your mat nice and smooth so it doesn't bother your knees. We're going to come to tabletop, hands and knees, and now we're going to do cat-cow. We'll do cow first, okay? So we're going to drop our bellies, arch your back, lift your chest and face, and what does a cow say, Z? Ooh, that's right. And then we're going to round our back and push the floor away. Can you step so they can see my back, please? Can you step over so they can see my back? Mm -hmm. We're going to make a big rounding in our back like a Halloween cat. And what does a cat say, ZZ? It's Halloween cat. Um, what does a, a cat say? Meow. Yeah. Meow. That's right. And so we'll move through this a couple times. You want to join me? I'm going to go inhale, moo, and exhale, meow. And inhale. That's right. And exhale. Meow. Okay, so now we're gonna keep our tabletop position and I'll turn so you guys can see. Z, you ready to do some horsey lips? You guys ready to do some horsey lips? Okay, so another animal obviously that stands on its hands and feet like this or on all fours are horses. And horses make a certain sound. What do they say? Moo! Moo! I've never heard a horse say moo. Okay, a horse can say nay. Or a horse can say, Pfft. so we're gonna do horsey lips. You wanna join me? You wanna turn so, you, so they can see your horsey lips? Okay, we're gonna take a big deep inhale and through our nose. We'll do it twice more. Excellent. You wanna give me a, oh, thank you, sweetheart. You wanna give me a neigh just for fun? Okay, and as you can see, this horse is being um, mounted, so we'll take a little ride around the mat. Moms and dads, this is a good moment to play. If you want to, nay! Okay, hop down. We're gonna do our... Thank you, nay! We're gonna be gorillas now, are you ready? Okay, so from our hands and knees position, we're gonna keep our toes tucked. We're gonna walk our hands back and we're gonna come up onto our feet so that we're in a little squat and we'll turn, look, we'll turn so they can see us, okay? Can you scoot over just a bit? <clears throat> how, do, how does a gorilla walk? Down on his knuckles, yeah? Okay, but we don't wanna round forward like a gorilla because we're humans and that would hurt us. So we're gonna pull our shoulders back and we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna be really, we're gonna have good posture as gorillas and then we're gonna walk like a gorilla. And can you tell me the sound a gorilla makes? <laughs> yeah, that's really close. Okay, so we'll just walk back and forth. Okay, and what is, did, have you ever seen a gorilla um, when they're angry, what do they do? What do they do? They beat their chest, can you beat your chest? <laughs> yeah, just like that, can you beat your chest? Okay. We're gonna put our hands down now. We'll step back onto our mats. Where <clears throat> we look, we can step where they, everybody can see us. Okay, so now we're gonna do a forward fold. This isn't an animal pose, but we'll turn it into one, okay? So from our gorilla squat here, we're gonna put our hands down on the mat. We're gonna straighten our legs. Okay, and we're gonna bring our hands underneath our feet. Feet, draw your belly button up towards your back and let your head hang. Shake your head out. 
This is a good place to do our horsey lips again. You want to try, Z? Okay, now do you remember the elephant trunk pose? We're going to do our elephant trunk. So in our forward fold, that's right, we're going to put a little bend in our knees. We're going to bring our hands together like the trunk of an elephant. We're going to swing our elephant trunk side to side. What is an elephant size Z? That's right. Moms and dads and mini movers, you can do your best elephant sound. Okay, so from here, we're gonna release our hands down. I lost my partner. I'm gonna round all the way up. From here, we're gonna do flamingo pose. This is also sometimes called tree pose, but today we're meeting animals. So we're gonna do flamingo pose. We're gonna bring the weight into our right foot. We're gonna spread our toes. And then we're going to bring our left foot up to the inside of our right leg, standing like a flamingo does on one leg. You can bring your hands to your hips and grow nice and tall. This flamingo is kind of flapping everywhere, being a silly flamingo. Okay, we'll take one more breath here. <sighs> okay, shake out your feet. And shake out your feet. Come on, I can see you. Look. And shake out your feet. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to do the other side. So we'll take our left foot to the ground. We'll spread our toes wide. And we'll start by coming up to our right big toe. And then we'll bring our right foot to the inside of our left leg. Whoa, hands can come to the hips. You can go tenderly love on your plants if they're around. Okay, one more breath here. We'll release our feet down. Can you shake your feet out, Z? Can you shake your arms and legs out? No? I keep losing my, my mini mover. Okay, so from here, we're gonna step Z to the top of our mat. We're gonna come into down dog, are you ready? Okay, we're gonna put our hands down on the mat. We're gonna step our feet back one at a time. We're gonna lift our bottoms to the ceiling and our belly button to our spine. Awesome, we're gonna push our heels to the ground. And then what do dogs do when they're happy? <laughs> yeah, they wag their tails. So drop your hips side to side, pedal your feet. And can you give me some dog sounds? <laughs> yeah, that's a cute doggy. Okay, one more big deep breath here. All right, we're gonna lower to our knees. All right, we're gonna do three more of our cat cows. So can you come give me some sound effects, see? Can you come make animal noises for me? Um, our inhale, we'll drop our belly and we'll be a cow. What's the noise they make? Moo. And then on the exhale, we'll round our back. Meow. I want some milk. You're getting some milk. <laughs> inhale, arch <laughs> our back. And exhale, round one more time. Inhale, arch. Are you doing it under me? Exhale, round. Okay, <clears throat> now Z, we're gonna do your favorite pose. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're gonna do frog, okay? Okay, we're going to, yep, walk our hands back, tuck your toes, walk your hands back to your feet, come up onto your feet, come into a little squat, and then what sound does a frog make? Rabbit. 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 And what do frogs usually do when they rabbit? Can you show me? Rabbit. That's right, we yeah. hop like frogs. My tummy rumbled. Your tummy rumbled? Okay, well what happened is when we squat down like this, lots of stuff moves around in our belly and it probably made your tummy feel kind of funny because that's why we get this really good for our bodies. Okay, we're gonna hop a couple more times. So hopefully you've been hopping. We're gonna keep hopping. Are you gonna hop too? You can hop back and forth. You can hop backwards. Yeah, you can turn around and hop all around the room and hop for as long as you want. You don't have to stop when we stop. You can have a lot of fun hopping, but we're gonna do just a couple more hops. You gonna hop with me? Okay, can we hop right over here to face the camera? And we're gonna do Lion's breath. Yeah, if you did our breathing exercises, you know this one. This was our fierce growl. So we're going to do lion's breath. Are you ready? You sleepy lion. Okay. 
we're gonna take, we're gonna sit on our knees, take your hands to your thighs, and draw your shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. On an inhale, big deep breath in. On an exhale, stick out your tongue and as fierce as you can. You enjoy me? Big deep inhale. We'll do one more. You can join me for this one. Okay, fierce. That's right. Get all of that pent up frustration out. And that can be used anytime we're angry or feeling a little. So, okay, we're gonna come to our backs. Are you ready to come to your back? We have just a few more poses to do. And my mini mover has decided to draw, and this may happen because. She's three, so if you're experiencing this, that's okay, they'll come back when they're ready. But I'm gonna go ahead and carry on to my back and I'm going to, you're gonna come with me? Okay, I've got a buddy coming with me. Okay, so we're gonna alter our poses here for just a moment. If your lovely little one likes to crawl on you like this one does, then we're gonna give them a chance to be another kind of animal. What kind of animal are you gonna be? A bird. You want to be a bird? Okay, so moms and dads, what you'll do is you'll bring your knees into your chest. You'll bring your kiddo, your mini mover, to your knees here, and you'll lift your knees up, and then you can stick your arms out wide, woo! And if that's not as high as they want to fly, Zoe, you can stand right there for me. Okay, you can bring your knees to your chest, you can let them get on your feet, Hold their hands, lift them up to the sky. Now, look at that bird. <laughs> okay, you ready to come down, little bird? This is also a good moment if you are having a hard time finding times to exercise. This is a good time to, may I hold your hands? Or can you wrap your legs around me? Perfect. This is a good time to get in a little core work. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can go to drop down. It's time to be, you're not ready? Okay, one more, stick your arms out, take a deep inhale. What does the bird say? Tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, come on down, little birdie. We're gonna be turtles. So come to your back. I'm gonna move you, okay? Come to your back on your mat. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, but I'm gonna, we're gonna finish this video, okay? So come to your back. Back, back. Yeah, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest. You bring your hands to your feet. And we're gonna press our feet up to the ceiling and our knees back toward our armpits. And we're gonna be like a little turtle that's stuck on its shell. So rock side to side. Well, you're stuck and you can't get up. Oh no, we're stuck turtles. You can get out while we're pretending that we're stuck. Okay, so then we just have a couple more poses to do, okay? We're going to release our feet. You're going to hug your knees into your chest and bring your arms around your legs, okay? All right, so this time I want you to pretend like you're a little caterpillar inside of your chrysalis, inside of your little cocoon. And bring your nose up to your knees and your ball up tight inside. And then we're going to release out into kind of a butterfly shape by releasing our feet to the floor, bringing our feet together, letting our knees fall open and bring your arms out wide like butterfly wings. Can you do that? We're going to touch each other because we're in a really close space. And then we'll take a few breaths here. How are butterflies? Are they kind of rough or are they gentle? What do you think? They're gentle. Okay. So we'll take a nice gentle inhale and a nice gentle exhale. We'll do one more. A big gentle inhale and a gentle exhale. Now, you're going to bring your legs out long. Bring your legs out long. Okay. So we're coming into Shavasana now. This is our very last pose. And my mini mover has decided to join me on my chest, which is actually really nice and comforting. So 
You can stop here when we stop, or if you want to keep going, you can use any of the breathing techniques from the shorter video we did.